Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. Here's the seafood news for the week of November 12, 2012. The 2012 Pacific Halibut Fishery officially concluded on Wednesday, November the 7th. The total commercial catch limit for U.S. fishing was 24.003 million pounds. Preliminary total U.S. catch of halibut was 23.236 million pounds, leaving about 750,000 pounds of fish in the water. Total allowable catch for Canada fishers was 5.479 million pounds, with actual harvest 5.247 million pounds, leaving 232,000 fish uncaught. The market in 2012 was soft overall, with prices falling below $5 a pound several times throughout the season on 10 to 20 pound fish. In comparison, prices during 2011 were over $7 a pound. Processors and secondary processors were holding expensive 2011 inventory at the start of 2012 season. Global markets were sluggish and many companies opted to remove halibut from their product offerings, opting to use alternative whitefish species. With millions of dollars tied up in overpriced inventory, processors were forced to lower prices in order to stimulate sales. USA packers turned to non-traditional markets such as China as an outlet for large volumes of inventory. Historically, Alaskan halibut processors have been reluctant to compete against Russian harvested halibut in the Chinese market, favoring more lucrative North American and European sales. The increased export of halibut to China has resulted in an increase of value-added Chinese processed value-added product offerings in the North American market. North American processed value-added products have dropped I have sub sub subsequently dropped in price from a high in 2011 for fletches of $14 a pound to present prices at $10.75 a pound. Even as the 2012 fishery concludes, there are, there are remaining 2011 catch inventories available. 2011 product is selling at $5.50 to $5.70 and 2012 product is offered at 625 to 650 on smaller frozen halibut. In the short term, prices are expected to remain stable as long as there is a surplus, a surplus supply. Now may be the time for buyers to book halibut for winter needs. This may also be a time to market Pacific halibut to consumers who stopped using halibut in the past. Buyers are advised to be cautious in the event that the prices drop again. The International Pacific Halibut Commission, the body that regulates quotas for Pacific halibut, is scheduled to meet January 21st through January 25th, 2013. During the week of the meetings, the 2013 quota will be proposed. On another note, I'd like to bring to your attention a website that all seafood purchasers should visit. The Better Seafood Board, sponsored by the National Fisheries Institute, lists suppliers that deliberately advertise and sell short-weight products. Congratulations to NFI for identifying companies that knowingly cheat consumers selling adulterated products. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.